whether you are trying naturally or undergoing any fertility treatment or facing an unplanned pregnancy you need to test your pregnancy how and when you can get the pregnancy test done is all i will be discussing today hi i am dr anjali chauhan consultant at birla fertility and idf today we will discuss what are the pregnancy test how early we can get these tests done how the results are read and why you need to consult your doctor with the results so the first question is what are the pregnancy tests so it is detecting a hormone known as hcg that is human chorionic gonadotropin it is a glycoprotein which is secreted from the outer layer of cells of the developing baby that is trophoblast which later forms the placenta so if it came out to be positive that means you are pregnant and if it is negative that means you are not pregnant so there are two ways to get this test first through the urine that is detecting the beta hcg presence in the urine it is a qualitative test which can be done by a urine pregnancy kits even at the homes the second is by detecting the levels of beta hcg in the blood and it is a quantitative test that can be done in the labs so second question is how early we can get the pregnancy test done hcg can be secreted from the cells of the embryos as soon as 6 days post conception however it is done at the time of your missed periods that is almost 14 days post ovulation or 9 to 14 days after the embryo transfer in cases of ivf so the third question is how the results are read so in cases of urine pregnancy test if the kit shows double line that means you are pregnant and if it shows single line that means it is either an early pregnancy or a the patient is non pregnant in cases of blood levels of the beta hcg indicates whether it's pregnancy or not pregnant that is if the levels are less than 5 ml international units per ml that means it is a negative result if it is more than 25 ml international units that means the patient is pregnant and if it is in between 5 to 25 or the lower values it may suggest a biochemical pregnancy or an ectopic pregnancy so low levels need to be discussed with your doctor hence my fourth question why you need to visit your doctor with the results so positive result indicates a pregnancy but not necessarily a healthy pregnancy in cases of a healthy pregnancy usually the levels of beta hcg in the blood doubles up every 48 hours these level rises progressively with the increasing pregnancy and reaches a peak and plateau at around 11 weeks of gestation when that is not the case that is at the lower levels you need a beta hcg serial monitoring so if the level plateaus or shows a inadequate rise that means either it is a biochemical pregnancy or an ectopic pregnancy that means it's not a healthy intrauterine pregnancy for a clinical pregnancy the beta hcg level should cross a threshold to be seen on a ultrasound on trans vaginal ultrasound the beta hcg level should be around 1000 to 2000 ml international units per ml and in cases of trans abdominal ultrasound the we can see the gestational sac at around 5000 to 6000 ml international units i hope i have answered most of your questions related to hcg testing remember don't make assumptions in case of doubts retest and ask your doctor for any kind of help book a free consultation today 